Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for Saturday the 27th of March 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may not resonate with everybody. It is for all signs. It's a general reading. So it won't resonate with everybody. Take what resonates with you. Okay, so let's see what we get. I'm going to use the angel answer cards here. What do we have? What is the message people need to hear the most? Saturday the 27th. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's lovely. Abundance. Now, abundance can be material success coming your way, but it can also, and we've had a couple of messages of that in the last, um, certainly I think it was Thursday and Friday's reading, but also this can be about just not feeling lack within you, you know, feeling our own internal abundance. So, very nice energy either way, but certainly a great energy of abundance coming your way. Okay, what do we have? What is the message that people need to hear? Just making sure I've got them the right way up. What is the message people need to hear, please? Saturday. Okay, so Page of Swords. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, oh my goodness, okay, Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, Eight of Swords, and bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Cups. There's a feeling here, I mean, it feels to do with a relationship. We've got the King and Queen of Swords here, um, which is generally a relationship. I mean, air also is to do with the mind, our mental energy, how we perceive something, our thought patterns, communication. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy. I'm definitely getting this energy. It might well be there's such mental energy to do with this relationship because it's something that has been preying on your mind here. But we're being told there is a new level of abundance coming your way. I'm going to clarify what this Five of Cups is. What is this Five of Cups? What is this Five of Cups in this reading? Thank you. Okay. I've got the Five of Wands. I'm going to pull one more. Thank you. I've got the Eight of Swords again. I'm going to start with the, the relationship itself here because I've got the King of Swords and we have the Queen of Swords. I mean, you know, these energies, Aquarius and Libra, I'm not just saying it's for those specific signs. It can just be people who are representing this energy right now. It feels to do with this relationship that the Five of Cups can be a card of loss, regrets. Um, Someone is regretting saying something or regretting a fight, regretting a conflict, regretting their actions. But there's kind of an energy here that even though they're feeling that, they're not communicating it. Um, and it definitely feels in this energy. I mean, this is it's a card of just holding holding it, the, the eight of swords we know is is a card of focusing on the negative but it can also be that prisoner energy of the mind and it can be um how you're perceiving something or or looking at something can actually stop you from moving forward so it feels like there's someone is full of regret but they're not wanting to do anything about it it's almost kind of like and and you know here's the thing the, the Queen of Swords is feeling exactly the same. You know, it feels like somebody else is, is, is wanting to talk but isn't doing anything about it either. So I get these two people who there is regret here. There is a feeling also that all is not lost. Um, I'm definitely getting this energy. 
I mean, someone is deeply regretting their actions. And there's a feeling that all is not lost. But these two people who are perfect for each other, by the way, are not speaking to each other um, or not voicing or being uh, voicing their truths, speaking their truths. However, that's where the Page of Swords comes in, which is to speak your truth. And that's when everything changes. Again, there's a feeling of conversations bring, bring positive forward movement. When you speak your truth, get things out into the open. There's definitely this energy of speaking your truth in this situation will make all the difference. Yeah, it's a lovely energy, the Eight of Wands. Conversations, forward movement. Alignment as well. But it's also a card of fast-paced change. So there's definitely an energy here of it just changes. As soon as things are brought out into the open, someone speaks their truth, everything changes. <laughs> you know... And, you know, you just, you'll just you just realise this was so petty. Five of Wands can be a petty energy. I mean, it can be quite heated as well, but this conflict. But it definitely feels like when you actually put it into perspective, you think, what was that all about? Why did we fall out over that in the first place, you know? Because there's definitely the sense of renewal of love. This feeling of oneness again. And the, the Ace of Cups is feeling that that blissful energy of fulfillment emotional renewal emotional rebirth um it's a great energy of bonds connections um just opening a new door and everything it just feels in this energy there's love here there's deep regret here but for some re for, for whatever reason you know, you'll be, you're both not talking about the same thing and you're both feeling the same thing and somebody is definitely regretting their actions here and they want to bring change to the situation. So the message is do it. I mean, the Queen of Swords is all about balance. You know, King of Swords is, is all about, you know, truth. And so is the Queen of Swords, truth, clarity. Um, also, definitely in this energy, um, taking authority on a situation that just seems so ridiculous. It, it feels for some of you that there is a need to get greater perspective. He's all about seeing the big picture. So there's definitely an energy of just taking a step back and really seeing things for what they are. And I, de I definitely feel as soon as you speak this message, you know, uh, of truth, express yourselves there is just everything just changes like in an instant i've got three eights here eights are about mastery and change but it's definitely leading to fulfillment again and i feel this is emotional fulfillment yeah putting it behind you lovely lovely energy there let's pull a final card final message final message for the day Final message for the day, please. Thank you. Yeah, oh, you know, how appropriate we have. <laughs> Whale tenderness. Show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. Wow. Beautiful energy there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.